Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So let's bring back the UI real quick and we'll take a look at what we have done off camera. So since the last episode, there's been quite a quite a long time. And uh, yeah, the pyramid one quadrant over here is pretty much full. And I've got the water in as well with those two water dumps right about there. And to my disappointment, but I kind of was expecting it in a way. These water wheels from the Iron Teeth series are not really giving us the power I was sort of hoping for. But maybe maybe this mechanical pump will save the... Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Another thing that I changed around here, it's very minor. But I moved those dams a little bit closer so the water moves a little bit further out. And right about this level, the last level... We're adding a few more wheels. If I bring the blueprints up, we can see. But right now, we're just building the every uh, second one. Just to give it a try, see how it works. And uh, and yeah, then we'll take it from there. Uh, on this corner, however, I have noticed something. It's very difficult to show, but let me try my best to fit. Oh, okay. Uh, that's kind of funky. That's a lot of water here. Huh. Very interesting indeed. Okay, anyways, back to the uh, that thing over here. So the water pump right about now goes to... Let's see, it goes over there. If we bring those levels down slowly... And we can see... Right, so this levee is the height where the water uh, pump will start working. Now the problem I think we have is... It's one higher than this wall. Which means uh, we're going to have a slightly shorter run for this water, I think. So we'll take it up a few more levels. Yeah, if this water cannot be coming from here, that means it's going to be at this level. A little bit annoying, but oh well. Let's go with that. What we shall do is get rid of this platform here. And we shall put in the Iron Teeth levees right about there. And we'll let them complete them as well. And that's pretty much it for this district. Let's have a look at a couple more more things over here. So whilst we were building the pyramid, I decided to put in a few more water wheels as well. I think these ones are new. Let me just hide the water real quick. I put in the big ones here as well. And they're giving us quite a lot of power, actually. That's about 400 hamster power. And if there's four of them, well, the corner ones here, they're giving us a little bit less, but still. That's some uh, additional power that we are getting. And this one here as well, it is getting, giving us a little bit, so it's not bad overall. Right now, oh, it has just dropped. I guess the windmills went off, but, you know, it's uh, almost meeting our demand. Oh, actually, we're going to lose the power from water wheels now as well, because it is the trout. Oh, no, it's the wet season, but the trout is coming soon. Okay, anyways, never mind. We'll keep expanding our power network as we as we play along, so that's that's not a problem. So yeah, little floods, occasional floods here, which we are already used to. So that's not a problem. But today's episode's focus is going to be in this area. Also, thank you. Um, before we go into this area, I know a little sidetracked, but uh, thank you so much for the comments in the in the last episode. So I've read through all of them and I will be replying right away as well. And uh, I think. What we're going to do is when it comes to the amusement uh, park, we'll try and build one here. And then uh, maybe if we have time or can do, we can still go ahead with this plan as well. But it's just uh, the more I think about it, the more it makes sense to have this amusement park here. Because if we do it over there, no one's going to be using it. Or just the beavers in that district, which isn't going to be that many to be begin with. It just looks really sad and kind of abandoned. We want it to be as lively as we can. So we'll... Uh, start designing it or putting in a bit of a blueprint in uh, in a little bit as well let me just speed up the time because it's night time and yeah so that's what we'll do with the when it comes to the amusement park now this section here oh actually never mind there was a second question i posed for everyone as well so it was to do with the columns update so i did do a quick test and it seems um, uh, you're not really able to bring your old maps into the experimental branch correct me if i'm wrong but it just uh, didn't work for me so i had to start a new map i and building up a colony to reach the level of the columns uh, so that we can have a first look into how that really works and uh, and yeah so i'll do that in the background and 
and then we'll take a look at what what they're like and uh, how efficient they are yeah so that's those two qu questions answered uh, right now what i'd like to do in this episode i've talked about it probably from one of the first episodes but this district here and uh, since we do want to move it i think it's about time we start doing that so for that uh, oh yeah we do want to uh, reach this temple here as well so what i've planned in right about here is i'm not going to destroy it well we aren't going to destroy it but all we're gonna do is rebuild it and face it this way. So we'll build another gate, I think right about here. I don't know if we're gonna leave it or not. Well, I guess we'll see. Time will tell. And I've started to put in a bit of access already as well. And um, the problem that I am starting to have in this district right now is, is the water. We're just not getting enough. So there's two solutions that, I'm, uh, that I've come up with. First one, is to start using this as a bit of a water tank it will not be able to go as deep and i don't want to raise it too high uh, so why it cannot go deep is because i think we can only go a few more levels maybe depending on what level it is but maybe only two more yeah so uh so yeah that's what we're gonna do so that's uh one way how we're gonna tackle this some water pumps uh right uh, right around this area and then uh, b how we're going to get some more water is we have been preparing this temple district for quite some time now with lots of dynamites and things. Oh, they've done the top bit, actually. Ah, oh, OK. And yeah, that's the as far as they can go, really. So I'll have to probably put another temporary district here at some point, but it's fine for now. Uh, right. So, yeah, lots of water in here. And once this gets deepened even further, what we shall do is start exporting water from this district into our, well, the, um, I guess it's the first district in a way, you know, the starting location here. And the purpose for, main purpose for this uh, district is going to be, I think it's going to be all the raw resources that we will then export into Dragon's Keep or elsewhere where it will get further refined down into some more advanced materials. So the first thing that I, well, not really the first thing, but one of the first things that I started doing here is we've got a temporary district just to get the dam in place and also the levee as well. It's almost the evening. However, I think we can have four builders there, right? So let's migrate over. Where are we going? District 45. We'll send four dis uh, beavers there. And as soon as this is built, we can get rid of uh, the district. Now, when it comes to the location, that's it's been a little bit tricky to figure this out. Because once we plop it down and start building around it, everything is in some ways going to be affected by distance, of course, and also the layout. So right now, what I'm starting to plan in here is the new highway. And because we already have this highway in right about here that covers all this mountain and the temple district, I would like this to continue through this area as well. So, yes, definitely going to have to demolish quite a few things in here. And then we'll get rid of the rest. And what I'm thinking in this corner, hopefully it will make this area green as well. As soon as this last levee is in place and we can get rid of this dam. Uh, so that way we can have the farming section. I think the farming section can be yeah, right about here. Then the logs... Because there's quite a lot of space here. And oh dear, these blueberries have really gone wild. They're all over the place. Okay, well that's fine. We'll deal with it later. Now this little hill here. Um, I guess we have options. If we really struggle for farming space. Which I think we will not. We always do have the option to you know level it with the rest of the surrounding areas. But I don't know. Uh, I think this could also be the manufacturing area between the logs and the food. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And um, yeah, I prefer to keep it and work with the terrain. So it looks a little bit more interesting, this whole area. But if we have to demolish it, I guess so, so be it. Anyways, this uh, area seems to be done. They're just chilling out over here. And so we can get rid of the district center. And it's almost all green. I think what we can do most likely is dig ourselves into here to make it more fertile, but that's okay. So give me a second, I'll plan this area a little bit out, see where we put the district center, and then we start demolishing things. 
All right, so there we go. I'll clean it up a little bit. And with the district sensor, if we place it right about here, it seems the reach is already red up on this hill. So we might have to bring it just a little bit closer, maybe right up to this corner here. And I suppose this road doesn't have to really be here. Yeah, so how about we... Can we pause you? No, we cannot. Okay. Anyways, it's going to be connected from there. Um, yeah. So I think we will be fine if we bring this out. Also, I've transported or sent over about eight beavers into this first district. And we have additional two builder's huts here because we are going to need extra hands building and demolishing things very very shortly so the last thing we're doing here it's just getting getting rid of a few of those trees that are in our way and as soon as this is done we can move this uh, center a little bit closer right now what i'm doing is just trying to block that none of those trees will expand into this area where we are building stuff okay just one more tree left as soon as this is gone as well we can block this off and okay so how about we delete this center once again if it goes around right about there it gives us a little bit of extra reach now i do not know if this is going to be enough but we'll have to get these built and then we can uh, we can see it now when it comes to demolishing this area i don't think we really have to the only thing i'm worried about is if we check over here it's already in red yeah so that can be a bit problematic uh, so we'll have to set up either that we start exporting from here some water or yeah because this tank isn't quite ready i mean we do have a few few of those dynamites in but it's uh, it's not enough so it's better better not to destroy this too much just yet okay now another thing that i have started to think is the way i've done this here right now is i've marked only half of it down for demolishing and i th think what we can do is maybe use this half for pumping out some water and once this is at the level where we want it to be we will relocate all the pumping stations to this side yeah that's probably a way to go so i guess i'll just have to plan out how we wanna how we wanna have a have the layout in here and then we'll will go go like that so now for for this area what we can start doing is is maybe we start removing some of that uh, buildings and also farmlands more towards here for the beavers living space what could be a good location is if the food's gonna be right about here which is very close to them and the production zone let's say maybe here because we are we're still gonna have to produce some uh some potatoes and and some carrots for them to eat and also bread as well so not everything is going to be just raw ingredients in this district right so yeah building or living space most likely here i think we've uh, already dynamited everything down yes we have and since we are wanting to do just the the folktale housing then let's yeah let's plan something out in this area uh, maybe some platforms in here and when it comes to the house we can probably do the triple lodge here that's quite a quite a good fit yeah perfect and then we'll allow them to get down straight from in front of them but let's just pause it for a second and actually what i'll do is maybe i'll just put in a blueprint as soon as it gets to the evening and then we'll jump back and have a look at that now other things yeah water and the housing i'll do first when it comes to the farm space this seems like a pretty good location here so yeah first farm could be right about there i suppose actually if we get rid of this tree that would be even better so maybe uh they might yeah okay we're not connected so we're not gonna be able to build this there well that's okay that's okay so yeah i'm gonna take a little bit of time fix up the water situation and then we'll be back all right so here we go we uh, do have a couple of those water pumps being constructed right now and what i'm also trying to do here is making sure that as soon as this 
water pump is full of water the beavers can go directly into their large water tank just to uh, just to fill them up as well ready to be exported and we're gonna have a bit of a line in here not gonna construct everything in one go we'll just take it in uh, sections but yeah we'll let them uh, build this and as soon as we're starting uh, starting to build up some water in here as well then uh, we'll uh, we'll start uh, sending it outwards to our uh, well i guess uh, redesigned district that we are doing here now with the housing nothing fancy just yet but uh i am going to put this in here so we've started with the triple uh, lodges and i thought why don't we just use this levee as our walkway since it's already here and since the access to those lodges are is on the second level or first depending where which country you're from really then uh, what we yeah it's it's gonna be uh, nice and easy in here and in preparation of having the second and maybe even third layer on on top of these ones i have uh, scheduled in a bit of a staircase system in here as well which is uh, very simple again nothing too fancy just yet now farming yep we've uh, got managed to get rid of this tree in here so that's gonna go right about there and i have a feeling we're gonna need some more construction beavers just to get things built a little bit quicker because yeah it takes uh, quite a bit of time now let's look at the priorities um since we are going to export the water from the other district how about we mark this as a slightly lower priority yep let's do that and oh i just realized yeah that's something i did off camera as well i got rid of all these warehouses and and other things that we used to have here and we do have a little chestnut farm in this corner i think it's protocol yes it is okay so maybe we'll leave it we'll leave it as it is right now i think what we're also doing if i'm not mistaken yes we are exporting them now to dragon's keep where it gets fried up and yeah they've got grilled chestnuts here as well and that's already full too okay so we're also gonna need a storage unit there but that's okay we'll leave it for the time being and i don't really remember if we disconnected in the last episode or maybe it's something i did off camera as well so that's uh you know almost almost complete there okay so are you done okay so one water pump should be live soon well soon as soon as maybe yeah maybe we should have these houses constructed first let's give them a slightly higher priority and don't have a whole lot of spare beavers but we do have a few that don't have a roof Oh, Dragon's Keep, of course. Yeah, a little tricky here, but that's okay. That's okay. They'll be they'll be fine sleeping in the nature. It's not too hot just yet. Uh, well, I guess it kind of might be. Anyways, so the farm is being constructed here. We've got all the logs in, and all we have left to do now is just build it. They haven't really gotten very far with those trees in here, it seems. Only five of them done, but once this is cleared up as well, we can move things around then uh, i believe let's have a look if we connect you up yep the bridge system is now in as well again i think in the future we'll probably do the double bridges here as we cross over are you empty i'm really waiting for these to be emptied so maybe we can prioritize them empty them up and then move it elsewhere this one should be full of grilled potatoes yeah so maybe we will empty you as well but i don't think uh never mind we do have cool potatoes here so that's fantastic yep let's leave it at that and here goes the beavers okay off you go oh you're already constructing these houses as well okay i guess that's uh that's okay i don't think we have the they can't really live them just yet, can they? Yeah, there's not not enough reach, so that's fine. They can uh, just construct them if they want to, which they uh, do seem to. Yeah, it's it's okay. Oh, you cannot build those because you don't have gears in this district. Right, so maybe that's something. How many routes do we have here? About six. Okay. Um, I think these ones are paper and metal you're not full okay so maybe we stick another gear route right about into this one here and here we go gears 
off you go, send them over, we'll have these water tanks constructed. And as soon as I think it's the waterfall district where we probably have more beds and we should have some um, spare beavers very soon as well, right? Uh, only two, okay, fine, they're all working somewhere. Well, that's okay. That's fine. Um, how are we doing here? So these are starting to, last level is starting to fill up as well, which is nice. I think it would be a good time. Hmm. Do we get rid of this one? I suppose we do. Okay, we are going to need a couple more platforms right about there. And now if we take this last link out, a little bit painful, but that's fine. Okay, let's leave the water on. Bring the layers down to about, I think that's fine. And let's see. Yep, that's the height. And, oh dear. Let's see. Let's select this one again. Bring you down. Are you going to be in the water now? That's the that's the question. Okay, it fills up. It's this height. Uh, I have a feeling. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Maybe we have miscalculated again. To make this work, I think think yeah unfortunately we're gonna have to go with the two pump system then most likely uh now that i'm looking at it what will make sense is maybe we take this platform out for the time being and do another level of levies right about there okay so what once that is done we can disconnect this link let it pour in we'll try and construct you i believe we have everything oh no we don't have gears and three the planks but we can easily export uh, some of those. Okay, we'll leave that for the time being, as it's not the main focus of our current episode. We'll skip the night, we'll be back, and then we'll have a bit of a blueprint in here as well. All right, so after many days uh, later, we have done quite a few things in here. Now, it was a bit of a chicken and egg thing, so... I couldn't really expand too much or change the, uh, the the layout and move beavers over to this new location until we had a steady supply of water. But that means, well, we need more beavers in, beavers in here. So it was a bit tricky, but we are we are getting there. There's this quite a few water pumps that are almost done. The, what are they called? The platforms are almost in. Maybe I give them a slightly, let's do, you're the highest priority. You come next and we'll put the water pumps on top as well. So as soon as they're ready, they can start doing them and maybe, yeah, let's uh, let's leave it at that. But anyways, it's, it's done. So if I pause this real quick so we can move around and it's going to be a little bit smoother. I have deleted the District 1 from here, which still doesn't have a name. So I guess we'll uh, call it District 1 in this one here as well, just for the time being at least. And here goes the beaver army transporting logs over, not really sure where, but they are definitely going somewhere. Let's have a look. And um, what, what are you doing? You're carrying logs. Oh, they're filling up this one here. Oh dear. Okay. Well, let's set the uh, desired number to zero. We don't need them to waste any time. Uh, we've also cleared most of the trees from here. I think they're taking the last two down. Yes, they are. So... I do want to get this space empty so we can move the log gathering areas, I suppose, somewhere here. And the idea, what I forgot to mention before, is really that um, the beavers are living here. I've got a few water barrels or the tanks that are ready as well. I think this one's full, full of water now, yeah. I had to rearrange the entrance right about here, but that's okay. That's almost going to be done. You've got the highest of priorities, right? Yeah, that's good. And then we're giving, giving them a slightly uh, shorter access. Anyways, so the beavers are living here. If they get thirsty, the water is right next to their houses or just behind inside those ruins over there. Food gets produced right about there. Then uh, I think either here or here we do the food processing area. And then we'll have like restaurants and all the foods for the beavers that's ready to be served right about here. But this is also the area where I want to do the entrance to the amusement park. So I'm thinking maybe it's best to do it from somewhere around here. 
and then they uh, come out of their houses, get some water if they need some, then they go through the entrance, maybe we'll do a top-down view, they go through the entrance here into the amusement area and to the right we'll, we're gonna have restaurants right about there, maybe to the left, a few of them maybe as well, let's see how it goes, and then this will be District 1's amusement or the allocated spot for the amusement parks. We, we might even take over this whole area in the future, but who knows. Now that the district center is closer, we probably can move all of this back a little bit and take over this whole... all of this zone here, actually, yeah. Okay, but that's gonna be a little bit trickier and we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll leave it for the time being. Now we probably need you back in here because I don't think we have any bumps running. Yeah, we don't. And another side thing, before we go into this uh, tank in there, I have been planning some things out in here. So this definitely needs to be deepened because we are not producing, I think, not enough water. Well, now we've taken over these bumps for the Dragon's Keep as well. But what I'm doing here, I think you already noticed, there I've penciled in a few large metal platforms and I would like to deepen everything around them. So I'd like to cover this tank up just to pretend maybe there's nothing in here. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, we'll deepen everything else around. And um, then we have the layered system. Yeah, I think... Yeah, okay. So this might be the highest level and then we drop these or the other way around. We might drop the platforms a little bit lower so they're hidden until the water drops low enough. So, yeah, maybe the second option makes a little bit more sense, I suppose. But what I'm doing right now with this is just to see how how far can we go. And uh, then what we might do is if we can go pretty far into this mountain, we'll make it that the platform, the tops of the platform, come to the same height where the last bit of the water bump here is. Okay, so that's what's happening in the background. When we go to the Pyramid District here, let's bring back the water. The levee obviously is done now, and the water is flowing through. If we go... Oh, that's, uh, that's a little bit tricky, but okay. Uh, no, we have to go back up. Okay, there we go. If we bring the layers down now, it seems to be in the water. Okay, there we go. So that's fixed, that's sorted. Uh, we are losing three layers though, which means we, yeah, we'll probably have to do another bump in here in the future. But I think, uh, yeah, we'll start constructing this one. We'll resume it. We don't have any, oh, we do have 100 gears. Okay, so that's good. What about metal blocks? Do we have metal blocks? Yep, 181. Fantastic. So the only thing we're missing is treated. Never mind. We've got 60 of them as well. We need 50. Okay, so this is going to go live. All it's going to need is some power, which I believe we don't have, right? Anyways, that's a, that's a fix we'll have to do. We'll connect it up somehow, maybe a temporary solution. or We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. And then in the future, yeah, we, we are going to need a slightly better way to generate power because wind obviously is not very reliable. So we'll see if the permit project will work once the bump is online because I believe that will have a slightly higher output and will mo uh, move the water around a little bit quicker than these water dumps so then we can get rid of those ones uh, but yeah okay so there goes that now the farms are alive here as well and they're already planting carrots and some potatoes so I do have another farm but their goal or purpose really is just to get rid of everything else in here. Okay, I'll put it back on three times the speed. So yeah, it's uh, it's definitely slowly getting there. And now the next thing to be able to progress a little bit more. Wait a second, why are you saying that these houses are... What's going on here? The building isn't connected to any district. Oh. Oh, I see. That's why... Okay, so we are going to need a road there. Hmm. Or maybe we just increase the priority in this one. Yeah, let's, let's do it this way. And uh, nice to see these water tanks filling up already as well. You are empty now, okay. And we'll most likely, once this gets, uh, these gates go, grow up, we're going to have some more haulers. Maybe give you the priority as well. 
How many do you have in stock? Okay, so you do have the water in stock. That's not the problem. It's just... Uh, maybe... Wait a second. We got 734... 400 here. Let's look at the limits real quick. Go to the water. We uh, shall not transport it out if it's 150 or lower. And with this district... Oh, that's why. Okay. I think we don't need to set the limit for you. However, we shouldn't, just in case we are transporting some out from anywhere, we'll set it this way. Let's see. Are you moving now? Yes, you are. And you are transporting 11. Okay, so that's good. That's uh, functioning as it as it should. And okay, the stairs are done as well. It is going to red, but I think we are going to have the reach that we need. So the next step in connecting this very long mission that we've had for quite some time is almost done. So we'll give you the highest. Okay, we've got a couple of beavers here already. And we've almost got this done. You can go now. We'll go back into leisure. Find the temple. Okay. Had me worried for a second. There we go. That's in. Uh, looks a little funky. I mean, if we want to get rid of this entrance, then we can in the future. But for now, I think it's it's fine to leave it. Okay, there we go. That's in. Are you able to reach it? Yes, you are. So that's awesome. Yep, so temple is very close to them. One of the leisure destinations. And carrots are going in nicely. Potatoes as well. We've got plenty of wheat that we have access over here. So production is still fine. We are not too affected by this. And all right. Water-wise, yes, it is all being imported right now. But it's very important to also keep going down on this side of the map as well. So let's start from the middle. Another lay it down, bring back the UI real quick, and let's fix this up here actually as well. We don't need this platform anymore. We are going to have another staircase just about there. And then dynamite the rest of it. I'll give them a priority, although I don't think we need it because we've got so many construction beavers right now. And they're not really... Oh, okay, they are doing this one. We've got loads of logs, and we should have plenty of planks as well, don't we? Never mind. I take that back. What is going on with blanks? Uh, building needs power. Oh, okay. So all the power is out. Yeah, that's something I do have to do. I have to connect this power to our main grid. But uh, where can we do it from? I suppose it makes a bit more sense to do it from here. However, we are not able to reach all the way there. Here's another option, but that's mm, not the nicest because we do have the flat gates. This leaves me with, well, maybe we figure out a way how to do it through here. Might not be the nicest, but it could, no, it goes right about there. Unless we bring it around and then down. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to figure this out a little bit later and play around with a few options. But in the meanwhile, let's uh, try and keep expanding into this area. So the next uh, thing we'd like to do is create them or build them a really nice restaurant area. Yeah, options are we could do it here or in the amusement section. So yeah, you have a very good reach over here. And maybe you take this side of the lake. Then for Dragon's Keep, your amusement park will, due to the reach, I think we're going to have to take over most of this area here and redesign it a little bit. Uh, so there is a bit of a cap in the middle. Now, when it comes to the temple district, your allocated plot is maybe... Hmm, but this is our farming space. Can we relocate farming space elsewhere? Well, maybe we can. So maybe it's half of this uh, peninsula here. And this section will be, well, for one of our future districts that we could do or build uh, right about here, because we already have the water. We could uh, put, put in the water pumps somewhere around here. And the trees are in place as well, so all we really need is just some beavers to start cutting all this area down. Okay, and then, uh, yeah. Another option we could also do is, because we're not really using this area for farming anymore. Uh, yeah, 
so we could deepen this river system use it as a bit of a water tank slash storage i know it's just gonna take a humongous amount of dynamite but we could split it into sections and maybe maybe just to one level let's not go too crazy perhaps because we have plenty of water here and um, dragon's keep is gonna have a lot more here as well so what we could do is maybe just one more level cover it in platforms in certain sections and then that way we can build the amusement park on top of the river system if we wanted to cover it up of course okay well plans lots of plans and lots of things to do it just uh, depends on whether we have enough time and how much we can get done in one episode but anyways i don't think we are gonna have this as our obviously the log pile has section maybe we do something oh uh, yeah this was gonna be the processing area for our food so the log storage area is gonna have to come right about here hmm how do we do it okay industrial log piles oh that's actually perfect okay there we go we can do a couple in here and let's say if the stairs go up from about there and we might be able to do the system that we mm, were doing before no that means the roads have to go two or one out but that's okay so one goes up here you go there maybe we don't need it this high we'll take a few of them off but we can measure out how we want to do it now we need to go to storages and let's say you go i don't know maybe we should no 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 no. let's do this it's fine a uh, little bit awkward but i guess something that a few platforms can fix now i believe the newest update oh maybe it's yeah it's on the experimental we should be able to um uh, place the benches and maybe a few more things under the platforms in the future now as soon as it comes onto onto the live version of course anyways we've got a few log piles in here and we'll let them construct it and what we are going to do is set them to not accept and maybe yeah we're going to do empty but i believe we have a better way to do this now yep all of these ones and these ones will be emptied don't bring them over here though yep i don't want them uh, let's do it this way and maybe a slightly higher priority to get these ones constructed as well. This one, that one, this one. You, nah, that's fine. And you can stay as you are. Okay, there we go. Let's go back into the tank. Uh, you still have not done. Okay, we're almost there though. So that's fine. What we can now do is schedule in quite a few more dynamites almost. Okay, anytime. And here we go and a couple more okay perfect stairs should be done now fantastic get this done as well we'll go down a layer and yeah we're just gonna keep going until we reach the bottom i do have to check i know in the experimental in the newest one you won't be able to build uh, dynamites once you reach the lowest level but i think that's still possible here so we'd be uh, wasting a whole lot of dynamite so maybe I have to just test with one of the dynamites in the corners so yeah we don't end up wasting a whole lot of them okay things are going good what about here you set to zero and then we'll get rid of you as well water level is dropping and we do need it here so we'll allow just a little bit more water to flow through it will start to rain in about, in about 4.6 days but we are going to have to keep a little bit extra in here. So another good thing probably is also to deepen this area just by one more level. Okay, there we go. At least most of it is still nice and suitable for the plants. Now houses are built. They're done. They have access. Theirs are going up. And that's good. What about... Oh yeah, we don't have the blanks. Hmm. We are producing some. However, you're bringing it in. Maybe we need another one. Maybe about here, actually. Yeah. Okay. Why don't we do one here? So that way we can start exporting planks. Because I believe, yes, where are you? Planks 640 in Dragon's Keep. So we'll send them over. 
as soon as that's done and so we can get the temple in place. Okay, so yeah, that's the plans for, for the District 1 that we have. Yeah, we'll slowly keep building this, start the amusement park very soon as well. Just have to do a little bit of tidying up in here, make sure that we keep this. Oh, we just lost all the carrots. Okay, yeah, we, we have to fix this a little bit as well. And as soon as uh, that's done, we'll uh, start taking out the... Oh, wait a second, 23 kids. 39 in total. Okay, I think we're going to have some problems. Anyways, that's probably for us to figure out in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.